What's going on, Sports Wars? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and GeeksAndGamers.com, and we have yet another five-star recruit who is deciding to forego their year of college and instead get right to the NBA G League for a year where they can get paid, they can get endorsements and things like that, and still get the training they need to get ready for the next level. Right here, you can see Nation's number one point guard, Dacian Nix, decommits from UCLA and plans to sign with the G League per Shams Charania. He joins Jalen Green and Isaiah Todd on the new team in Southern California. And this one is pretty big because Dacian Nix actually had a letter of intent signed. He was scheduled to go to UCLA. He had been committed to them since 2019, I believe, for a long time. Was expected to start for UCLA. And now instead of having him on the team, they now have another empty spot, a new scholarship to fill because Nix is no longer going there. You can see right here in this article. Dacian Nix is decommitting from UCLA and signing with the new G League Pathway program the league announced Tuesday. I think it was the right thing for me because that was a family thing and myself thing. Playing in the G League is basically getting me ready for the NBA draft. It's just one step below the NBA. Now, this makes three players within the top 20 of this recruiting class who have decided to not go to college and instead go to the G League. Like I said, the first person who's actually decommitted from a college, which is a big deal. And it sounds like there's a lot of players, especially with the uncertainty of next year's college basketball season, who are looking at the G League and saying, you know what, if I can get paid to go here and get paid to go and prepare for the NBA draft, you know, stay a little more protected, maybe have a little better competition to play against, then I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that instead of having to deal with the NCAA's rules. So again, that makes him joining Jalen Green, the number one prospect, and five-star forward Isaiah Todd, who both made that decision early this month. This could start to be a new normal for people, especially depending on how their experience goes. You could see an entirely different college basketball very soon if this keeps happening. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that we're going to start to see more of this? Do you think it's the right decision? Let us know. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe to Sports Wars, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you guys later.